Hey there, uh, it's Mike here, and um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, wanted to get back on today and make a video a little bit about some things that I'm hoping that maybe um, will make some sense to you uh, in regards to anxiety and uh, stress and uh, some depression. Um, just a few things that can cause you to have uh, anxiety or anxiety disorders. Um, <clears throat> uh, one could be genetics. It is something that can be passed down through your genes. So if you have parents that have anxiety uh, or anxiety disorders, then um, your likelihood of it uh, being passed on to you um, is, is higher. Um, I, for one, um, I know that both my parents have taken um, some sort of some sort of uh, anxiety medication, and um, <clears throat> excuse me, a frog in my throat this morning, um, and now you know myself, I have it, and um, which I'm I'm working with. Plus my daughter, she's now twelve, uh, or will be twelve in October actually, and uh, she has it as well. Um, some other things that, um, <clears throat> excuse me, um, some other things that uh, could cause it uh, is allergies. One of my other videos, I kind of um, talked, I dived into that a little bit, talked about that a little bit, that uh, it could, uh, anxieties that you have could be um, escalated or ramped up because of certain foods that you may be allergic to or have sensitivities to. Um, that's also... Uh, another option. Um, a traumatic event in your life, <clears throat> like um, maybe losing a loved one, uh, someone very close to you, um, or even uh, being in a position where you had seen a traumatic event unfold in front of you, maybe like a really bad car accident and there was uh, a fatality involved or somebody was um, dismembered. <clears throat> <clears throat> Apologize for the throat thing. I have a sinus issue, so um, it's draining a lot. Um, that uh, could also be something that could cause um, a, an anxiety disorder. Um, certain medications you take can also be um, a factor. Um, they can cause you to have... Um, you know, different types of anxiety disorders like uh, uh, panic attacks, uh, derealization, uh, depersonalization, uh, even a social anxiety just by uh, some particular um, drug that you take. Um, <clears throat> all of these, and uh, like I mentioned though, cause oxidative stress. And if you're not uh, up on what oxidative stress is, I encourage you to do some research on that. <clears throat> <clears throat> and um, learn some more about what oxidative stress is. I know on PubMed.gov is a, a peer review uh, website um, that's put on by the government, and it's basically peer reviews of uh, scientific research and medical institutions and doctors of such that uh, do different tests on different things to see what... Um, how oxidative stress is related to each thing. So I know there's well over, last last time I counted like 290 some thousand um, search results for oxidative stress. And anxiety is right up there with that. So <clears throat> once you learn how to remove the oxidative stress from your body, um, that can help with um, removing some of your anxiety. Now I'm not gonna say it's gonna be um, a complete fix, but um, it can help lower it dramatically. Um, also, other issues how you can have, get anxiety is um, from a chronic illness. Um, I think that um, mine is from a chronic sinus infection that I've had ongoing. Just had a CT scan done on my face, and uh, they found that on the right side of my face that there's an infection there, and there's quite a bit of mucus in the sacs of my sinuses, and uh, it's been causing me issues for quite some time. <clears throat> um, so 
it kind of gives me a basis on what I need to focus on, uh, some things that I can do to try to alleviate that pressure and uh, the pain that I've been having and the anxiety with that. Now, just briefly about some of the anxiety that I experience. Um, mine um, basically uh, made me think that I had a health issue, um, like something with my chest, like with my heart. I think they call that cardiophobia. Um, because with a sinus or a chronic sinus or, or infection or sinusitis, it can or it is connected to um, your gastrointestinal. It's also connected to um, cardiovascular. Um, a lot of the nerves and everything are all connected. And um, <clears throat> that's, um, they're all um, connected in, in a way. Um, it's kind of like the knee bones connected to the, the leg bone, stuff like that kind of thing. But um, one thing can uh, lead to another. So with the chronic sinus infection, um, it can actually make you have certain feelings in your chest, sensations like stabbing, um, pressure, um, just, um, you know, a lot of it is caused from post nasal, uh, dripping, <clears throat> like what I have, you know, with the grunting and everything that I have going on. Um, but the general anxiety that I was getting was just, um, just this feeling of doom. Um, my sinuses apparently were, um, causing havoc in my brain function and my nerve nervous system to where it was making me feel like as though that um, there was something seriously wrong with me. Um, I don't have any kind of medical doc documentation to back that up, but I mean, from what I've been studying and what I've been researching on my own, it's the most plausible reason of what's been happening. It's been a long road for me as far as that's concerned. And and I truly think that uh, the sinus infection has been an ongoing problem for me. Um, they suggest antibiotics for a few weeks and then uh, then possible surgery to clean it out if that doesn't remedy it. Um, I did, however, have my sinuses clean when I was nine years old. So it's been 40 plus years ago that I had that done. And, um, and I think that mine is derived from an allergy, which I, I do know that I have a case of protein allergy. And uh, anytime you drink dairy, uh, whether you're allergic to it or not, it can cause an increased amount of mucus and phlegm in your body and uh, can lead to um, illnesses like um, a, uh, a virus or an infection. Um, so I think that's kind of where I'm at. Uh, so, but like I said, it does focus uh, for me to pinpoint in on my sinuses and uh, dealing with that. Uh, some of the other things that I did deal with is panic attacks. Um, panic attacks is just kind of feeling like, um, uh, it, for me, it was mostly a sense of doom. There was a heat or wellness, a welling it that came up through my body. Usually felt like it was coming from my chest. That's what made me believe or lead me to believe that I felt it was a heart issue and uh, would basically float up to uh, the top of my head. Caused me uh, pretty bad headaches and uh, extreme amount of nausea um, and uh, pressure basically behind my, my nasal area um, caused me to think that I have um, something in my, in my inner ears, which I was uh, then told that that was the case. I do. So, and then ringing in my ears was another thing, really loud ringing. Um, that's another sign of um, either it could be anxiety or sinus infection, both. They kind of, they kind of overlap each other um, quite a bit. So, but I knew for the longest time, I, I didn't have any cardio problems because I've had EKGs. I've had a heart monitor. I've had, um, ultrasound I've done on my carotid artery in my neck. Um, and I've had x-rays of my chest. So everything always kept coming back fine. So I couldn't quite put my finger on what it was that was causing me the anxiety problems. But, um, hopefully, uh, I've, uh, kind of getting closer to the answer here and hopefully I'll can begin to healing and start to feel better. So, um, if you have any other questions about uh, the products that I've been using, the activation products, I'd be more than willing to speak with you personally about that. 
it's too much to dive into on here and uh, and uh, kind of give you the correct information because each individual um, needs or deserves one-on-one uh, -on -one consultation with that uh, to determine what would be the best route for you. So with that being said, uh, that concludes this video. I hope that it was helpful. And um, make sure that you uh, hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell let you know when I bring out new videos and uh, be sure that you like the video as well. And as I say in all my videos, here's to a better day of health and a better uh, life of health. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.